They are playing a game. They are playing at not playing a game. If I show them I see they are, I shall break the rules and they will punish me. I must play their game of not seeing I see the game. They are not having fun. I can't have fun if they don't. If I get them to have fun, then I can have fun with them. Getting them to have fun is not fun. It is hard work. I might get fun out of finding out why they're not. I'm not supposed to get fun out of working out why they're not. But there is even some fun in pretending to them I'm not having fun finding out why they're not. A little girl comes along and says, let's have fun. But having fun is a waste of time because it doesn't help to figure out why they're not having fun. How dare you have fun when Christ died on the cross for you? Was he having fun? It is our duty to bring up our children to love, honor, and obey us. If they don't, they must be punished. Otherwise, we would not be doing our duty. If they grow up to love, honor, and obey us, we have been blessed for bringing them up properly. If they grow up not to love, honor, and obey us, either we have brought them up properly or we have not. If we have, then there must be something the matter with them. If we have not, there is something the matter with us. A son should respect his father. He should not have to be taught to respect his father. It is something that is natural. That's how I have brought up my son, anyway. Of course a father must be worthy of respect. He can forfeit a son's respect, but I hope at least that my son will respect me, if only for leaving him free to respect me or not. There must be something the matter with him, because he would not be acting as he does unless there was. Therefore, he is acting as he is because there is something the matter with him. He does not think there is anything the matter with him because one of the things that is the matter with him is that he does not think that there is anything the matter with him. Therefore, we have to help him realize that the fact that he does not think there is anything the matter with him is one of the things that is the matter with him. There is something the matter with him because he thinks there must be something the matter with us for trying to help him to see that there must be something the matter with him to think that there is something the matter with us for trying to help him to see that we are helping him, to see that we are not persecuting him by helping him, to see we are not persecuting him by helping him, to see that he is refusing to see that there is something the matter with him for not seeing there is something the matter with him, for not being grateful to us, for at least trying to help him to see that there is something the matter with him, for not seeing that there must be something the matter with him, for not seeing that there must be something the matter with him, for not seeing that there must be something the matter with him, for not seeing that there must be something the matter with him, for not being grateful, that we never try to make him feel grateful. It is the duty of children to respect their parents, and it is the duty of parents to teach their children to respect them by setting them a good example. Parents who do not set their children a good example don't deserve respect. If we do set them a good example, we believe they will grow up to be grateful to us when they become parents themselves. If he is cheeky, he doesn't respect you for not punishing him for not respecting you. You shouldn't spoil a child, it's the easy way to do what they want. But they won't respect you for letting them get away with it when they grow up. He won't respect you if you don't punish him for not respecting you. My mother loves me. I feel good. I feel good because she loves me. I am good because I feel good. I feel good because I am good. My mother loves me because I am good. My mother does not love me. I feel bad. I feel bad because she does not love me. I am bad because I feel bad. I feel bad because I am bad. I am bad because she does not love me. She does not love me because I am bad. I don't feel good. Therefore, I am bad. Therefore, no one loves me. I feel good. Therefore, I am good. Therefore, everyone loves me. I am good. You do not love me. Therefore, you are bad, so I do not love you. I am good. You love me. Therefore, you are good, 
so I love you. I am bad, you love me, therefore you are bad. Mother loves me because she is good. I am bad to think she is bad, therefore if I am good, she is good. And loves me because I am good to know she is good. I am bad to doubt she punishes me for doubting. She loves me by punishing me for doubting she loves me. She says it must be her faith if I doubt she loves me. She feels bad because I don't think she loves me because she feels bad when I don't think she loves me. She feels it is her fault that I can be so cruel as to doubt she loves me when she makes me feel cruel to think she tries to make me feel cruel. To be kind is good. To be cruel is bad. It is bad to feel mother is cruel to me and hence bad. Mother is cruel to me, but she is only being cruel to be kind because I thought she was cruel when she was cruel in punishing me. Because I was cruel to her to think she was cruel to me for punishing me. For thinking she was cruel for punishing me. For thinking. You are cruel to make me feel bad to think I am cruel. To make you feel cruel by my feeling bad that you can be so cruel as to think I don't love you when you know I do. If you don't know, I do. There must be something the matter with you.